Mom, is that you? Yes, it is your mother. I was beginning to think you don't have my number anymore, since you don't even bother to call or check up on me. Mom, it's not like that. Oh, mom, not again. This morning. If you like, listen. If you like, don't. My prayer is that God touch your heart and help you find a good man. May he give you a good man, the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. May your enemy not have cause to rejoice over your situation. Very soon, may they gather to celebrate your matrimony to the man that God will give you. And may he bless you with ma many children that could bring peace, blessing, love to your home. Clara, Clara, are you still there? So you're ignoring me, right? You're ignoring me, your mother. No, 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 mom, it's not like that. You know, when you called before, it was network. And then when you called the second time, I wasn't close to my phone. I just got to my phone now. I was talking to you about your life, about something serious, and you are acting like it does not concern Mom, you. Mom, I'm sorry. It's just that I've been busy. Well done, busy woman. As if you are the only one that is busy in life. Anyway, the reason I called you back is because I have taken action for you, since you are not ready to take actions for yourself. What are you talking about? I have found someone for you. He is the son of my friend and he just finished his masters in the UK. He's looking for someone in Nigeria to settle down with. So I have arranged a date for the two of you. Not again. I don't want to hear any excuses. Clara, I have given him your number and he's going to call you. Uh, hello, M mom, mom. <sighs> Maduka. Yes, your mother gave me your number and asked me to call you. Oh, she did? She said she has spoken to you and you are expecting my call. Mm, yeah. I have already picked a restaurant for us this evening by 4 p.m. Okay, just send me the address. I'll see you. Great. Bye. See you soon. Where were we? Who is this? Hi, Clara. It's me, Maduka. Maduka. I called earlier. Your mom gave me your number. Oh, oh, yes. Didn't you save my number? Um, actually, I did, but I must have mistook it for the other number that I saved on my phone earlier because I took a call immediately after you, so it was just a mix-up. It's okay. I understand. Sorry. Just call to confirm our date this evening. Date? Yes, you agreed 5 p.m. Are you sure you can get to the restaurant yourself? Uh, yes. No, no. No, I, I'll get them myself. Absolutely. 
see you. Yes, hello. I'm on my way now. See you soon. Dates, please. <laughs> it's really not funny. What's not funny? You're standing up a guy, knowing fully where you won't be on a date with him. Girlfriend, chill. Why are you sounding as if I invited the guy out on a date? I didn't force him. I think you should have shown me coffee by turning him down. Really? Yes. Well, have you met my mother, Mama Clara? Mrs. Njoko, the perfect matchmaker. There is no saying no to that woman. So these guys are the ones who suffer for your mother's amazing math with these skills, huh? Girlfriend, would you stop? Of course. I knew you would be on her side. You are the one who keep encouraging her childish behavior. What? Mm -hmm. What childish behavior are you talking about? I'm not siding her. But come on, everybody will not be like you. Yes. Yes, so cut the poor girl some slack. Please. <laughs> Uh -huh. I know it's her deal that he's calling to monitor her. Her police husband. He's not calling to monitor my movement. Mm. He's just calling to check up on me. Okay. And oh, besides, you guys don't know how it feels because you do not. <laughs> do not even insult someone. Uh -huh. Hello, honey. Yeah, I'm at the restaurant with Ronke and Clara. Yeah, we just got here. I'm so sorry I didn't inform you. Ah, I'm back. Yeah, you say? Your laundry? Yeah, I dropped them off this morning at the dry cleaner. You're coming back today. You didn't inform me. <laughs> okay, I'll get home to prepare your favorite before you get home. Yeah. All right. Bye. Love you. Okay, girls, I gotta go. Uh huh. Dude, you just got here. We haven't even seen each other in what? A week? And then now you're running off. I'm so sorry. I mean, my husband is coming back and I need to get home to prepare his fair ride. Okay. But don't worry, I'm sure we'll fight him to meet again. Okay, oh, okay, no problem. Before mm. you now say we that we are bullets, we don't have money. My sister! Mm. Uh, ah. I love you. <laughs> don't touch Bye. me. Bye, girl! <laughs> Bye! <Yeah. laughs> she and her boo. I tire. Okay. Who could be calling me? It's calling again. Huh. I'm just going to leave my phone here. When he's tired of calling, he will chill. He will chill? Yes. Oh. Girlfriend, wait. You stood a man up and you expect him not to call whoever is standing him up. Calm is that down, possible? Calm down. I didn't force the man to go out with me. He'll be all right now. Clara! What? Uh, you know what? Where's the waiter? Waiter!
girl. Hey, babe. I just thought to check up on you. Last night was so crazy. I'm telling you, last night was mad fun. I haven't had such fun in a very long time. I need you both. Is it not you again? <laughs> Babes, we seriously need to do this again. And soon too. Sure, boss lady. Whatever you say. Okay, well... I woke up with a banging headache, so I'm just going to go down and fix myself a cup of coffee. Just feel better. Of course I will. Trust me. The moment I take my coffee, I'll be good. Hello, Daddy. Daddy, I am so sorry. I, I lost track of time. Why am I not surprised? Come on, see. It seems that's what you are up to these days. Losing track of time, right? Daddy, I said I am sorry. It's okay. Okay, Dad, I'm ready for the meeting. Should I go ahead and start now? The investors? I've already had the meeting with them. Oh. Sorry about that. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, can we not talk about Maduka? Maduka? Yes, Maduka. Who is Maduka? The promising young man your mother introduced to you. Oh, that's Maduka. Yes, that one. We learned that you stood him up. Well, that... The truth is, I am not ready for a relationship right now. I'm an adult. When I'm ready, I'll, I know exactly what I want. Well, you were interested. Can you see this kid? How can you be interested when you did not even give him a chance? I don't know what it is with you young girls of these days. But one thing I know is that you don't have time for any relationship because you are afraid of commitment. Come on, Dad. How can you even say that? You know I'm a very hard-working woman. And my work life is different from my private life. Both of them are extinct. I only wish you could, but I'm sorry. Everything is the same. Whether it is work, personal life, relationship, the same energy or attitude you display in one is one to reflect on the other. So there is no way you can separate any. Well, whatever you say, Dad. But I still maintain the fact that I am an adult and when I'm ready at the right time, I will find a good man and get married to. Promise you. That's fine. But I would like you to know that I am planning to retire soon and I don't plan to leave the conglomerate to you in this state. Hold on, Daddy. What, what do you mean by you don't plan to leave the conglomerate to me in this yes, state? I mean Honestly, Dad, I still don't understand what you're saying. Oh, so you want me to spell it out for you, right? Fine. I'm not handing over the management of the company to you. What? Get married. Did you get that now? Dad, what are you... Is my mom aware of this? Of course, we've talked about this at length, and this is our conclusion. You get married and get the management of the company. That is my decision with your mother. And we hope that you can appreciate this fast. Dad, Dad, wait, wait. Hello? Hello?
up to the neighbor. Neighbor, are we fighting? What did you do that for? Do what? What you just did out there? Why did you do that? I don't know what you're talking about. Clara, the way you responded to your neighbor, you just hit her and you didn't even apologize. Why? What's going on? Nothing. No, you, you can't say that to me. I know you too well to know that something is bothering you. Now, will you tell me? Nothing. Clara, say that to someone else. Now, are you going to tell me or not? I'm talking to you. Okay, I'm okay, okay. It's my dad. The old man is saying he won't hand over his conglomerates to me except I get married. I don't understand. I thought you were his only child. Exactly, yes. I'm his only child, yet the old man is giving me conditions. That's not fair. Well, it's his conglomerate. He sweats and hard work. So he can do whatever thing he wants to do with it. Ron, are you taking his side? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't even go there. You know I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm just stating the fact. And if you think deep, you will know that what I'm saying is not wrong. Please, don't patronize me. I am not, I'm just saying. Look, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ronke. Well, it's okay. At this point, I am hungry. I need to go to the kitchen. Let me help myself. You do that. So Clara, you just have to think about it. Oh my mm. God, Ronke, are we still on this topic? I thought we are done with it. No, we're not done with it. I'm just saying. Well, darling, stop saying, okay? Stop saying. I don't even know why I'm disturbing myself with this in the first place. I know my father. He's just angry. He'll come around soon. Really? Yes, really. I'm his only child, he can't do without me. So when he gets, you know, I'll just give him a couple of days, then I'll call him. All right. I guess he's just mad because I missed his meeting. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Hi, evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, um, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm letting me not go in between. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Yes. <clears throat> I saw the way he was looking at you. And I think he likes you. You know, from what I am saying, I think you should give it a shot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. He was looking at us. No. Besides, is his eyes. How did you know? Girlfriend, this one was different. It was a sexy look. I saw how he was. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I saw it. It's obvious now that you've become my mother, Mrs. Njoko. There's no difference. So come and be going. Uh, mm, friend, are, are we quarreling? Come and be going. Now you have tried. But you see me away. I'm seeing you off. Uh -huh. cool. But he likes you. I saw it. He likes you too. No, you see. Oh, I saw it. Was in his eyes. Uh, I saw everything. I saw he was, he was looking at you. He like was this. looking at you too. He was weighing you. He was weighing you. Up and down. What are you doing here? Come on. Is that how you want to greet me? 
I ask again, what are you doing here? Are you still angry about the other day? The girl? Hey, come on. She was calling me, texting me, sending me pictures. I didn't like it, but I wasn't sure what to do. Really? You didn't know what to do? Okay. How about you telling her you have a girlfriend and then you block her daddy ass? How about that? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Come on, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen again. Really? There you go. <laughs> I knew you're not going to be angry with me for too long. You okay? I miss you. Huh? I miss you too. you will find happiness within him. Can't you see? That guy has changed your life for good. Wait, babe, what are you trying to say? That um, things started working out well for me ever since I met Damien? <laughs> Not really, but to tell you the truth, since you met Damien, mm. happiness is all I see around you. <laughs> what would have brought about that if he's not giving you peace of mind? You this girl, you just want to know everything. Mm -hmm. two, 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 two. You just want to know everything. <laughs> Anyways, babes, you are right. You know, Damien is such a godsend. Aww. He is a wonderful man. And that is why I will make sure he gets anything he wants. You can say that. And I will take him out of the country after our wedding. Yes, I will make sure he travels out after our wedding. Huh? <sighs> wedding? He didn't tell me anything about that. Or did he propose? <laughs> this girl. And now because I'm not seeing any ring on your finger. If I if I blow you, eh? <laughs> Anyways, fine. He hasn't proposed, okay? But I know he has that in mind. Oh yes, he has that in mind. You don't look finished. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's fine. What you have in your kitchen? Huh? Foodie. Look at her. Ah. Foodie. Please go and help yourself. I'm not finishing for night. Jesus. I bet they go, they go, they go, they go. Sincerely, <laughs> Ronke. I don't know why my father is insisting I get married. I was thinking he would have gotten over it already. Do you know your father? Of course I know. I was hoping he would just budge just this one time. Hmm? My friend, I understand your reason of not wanting to get into any relationship. But seriously, I think you should try and think it. You know, so you understand it in your parents' point of view. And then, who understands from my own point of view? I should be allowed to do what I want. You know, all those things. There's always a way you go about it. Yes. Yes. You can go into um, a contract relationship with a guy. Yes. And once the company is handed over to you, you call it off. Do, do those things still work? Of course, they still work. Yes. I don't know. I just see you don't have much friends, much male friends to choose from. Well, you can consider the guy you see in your compound of fun. You know, that, that guy, that cute guy, you know. Do you by any way know anything about him? Okay, I don't know. Ah, you should consider him. Yes, totally. Thank you. Thank you for everything, okay. 
It's okay. And I hope you will think about what we just talked about. Do I have a choice? Relax. Everything will work out fine. Just me. Okay. I hope so. Drive safe. Thank you. I'll call you later. Of course, you should call me later. Do not speed. Call me later. <laughs> Bye. Bye, girl. I am sorry, beautiful. I should. Sure, why not? Go ahead. <laughs> to me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? I can't believe I can't actually did it. Okay, I can't believe I actually did it myself. I don't even know how I did it. I guess I was just overwhelmed with everything. And then I remembered what you said in the car. And I just did it. Well, start believing it. Because you have to see through it. Ah, okay. I don't know if I can do this or... Girl, for your future depends on this. Because... It's one thing to deceive my parents, but is it is a different thing to get in a relationship with a man that I don't know? It's just all way beyond my status quo. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Babes, you just have to keep it at the back of your mind that this is just a contractual relationship. Yes, the relationship does not exist beyond convincing your parents. Okay. Okay, but okay, I need your help. You have to help me draw up a contract. What? Yes, you have to draw up a contract. I need you a lawyer. This is supposed to be a transaction. It's your thing. Just do it, okay? All right, girl. Gotta go. Bye. My baby is coming. It's over 30 minutes now. What could be keeping him? No, I, I can't take this anymore. I have to check. It is unacceptable. Are you sure you want to do this? What do you mean if I'm sure I want to do this? Haven't you been the one encouraging me all this while? Yes. I have been the one encouraging you. And I am not even changing my mind. But I'm being skeptical, like... Are you sure he would want to do this? Of course. I mean, why wouldn't he want to do this? All he needs to do is keep to his own side of the bargain and we're good. Okay. He's here. Oh. Uh, 
coming. The fun. Hi. 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 Oh, you're welcome, please. Good evening. Thank you. Um, I am Ronke, Clara's friend and lawyer. Um, Damien. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. So now that you both have met each other, let's get to the business of the day. Business? What business? I'm, I'm confused. I mean, I thought you called me here so we could talk about you and I. Yes, uh, yes, yes. That is exactly why we are here. You know, when I called you earlier, I proposed a relationship between you and I, a fake relationship. And in order for us to move forward, uh, my lawyer, he had this contract prepared to go through and sign. Wait. You didn't tell him the nature of the relationship. I told you I freaked out. This is serious. Look, I don't understand. What don't you understand? <sighs> I thought you wanted a relationship. Yes, exactly. A contract relationship and possibly a fake marriage. All of this is just to convince my parents that I am committed. And afterwards, we part ways. Well, I guess I've been misled, honestly, because <laughs> I thought there would be something between us, you know? Something? Uh, something as in? Something as in, uh, you know, like... Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no, no. S sorry. There is not going to be anything between us. But... If this deal goes through, I promise you, you will be handsomely rewarded. Yes. Uh, do, do you have a problem with the contract? No. <laughs> I'm just all very astounded by all of this, honestly. I, I, I didn't expect this. So, you have a problem with it then? Well, Okay, let me just um, peruse this and I'll get back to you, okay? Please get back to me. <laughs> what were you doing in my neighbor's apartment? Baby, cool down, cool down, okay? Listen, Damien, you better start talking. And hey, don't even start with those your tricks right now because it's not going to work, all right? I'm listening. You finished? What is this? That explains it. Everything is right in there. It's an opportunity. Everything is right there. Do you need more explanation? Self-explanatory. I don't understand. What don't you understand? You mean she just saw you on the road, stopped you, and gave you a relationship contract just like that? Just like that? I believe she's been looking around for some nice looking guy to propose and uh, baby, I am as surprised as you are. Honestly. Damien. Damien. I am in love does not mean I am stupid, okay? So you better stop whining me with this nonsense and start... You gotta believe me. It's the truth, nothing but the truth. Come on. Okay, fine. Fine. Let's assume I believe you, okay? Okay. Let's just say you're saying the truth. What did you tell her? 
Damien? I am listening. I told her I'll think about it. I'm... You will think about this ridiculous preposition. This is not a ridiculous preposition, babe. This is a gold mine. This is a grand opportunity. The only opportunity I see here is an opportunity for you to cheat on me. There you go again. Every time these things come up, you go into the past. You just keep going back and going back. Why can't we move forward? Whatever happened, happened. Let it stay there. It's not going to happen. I said it was a mistake. It's not going to repeat itself. So why keep doing that? Huh? Look, she's offering us a generous amount of money. Look at it. Look, look, look at the figure. This is juicy, isn't it? I mean, imagine what I could do with this kind of money. I've never seen such money in my life, you know? I, 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 I could get a bigger house in a really nice area, open a business or two, yeah? Buy you all the designer clothes you've ever wanted. Come on, babe, think about it. Oh. Well, I, I still don't like this. Babe, what if you get caught or something? It's so risky. I, something might just go wrong. I, 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 I baby. Can't... Be optimistic a little bit. This is such a simple deal. It's like a walkover. It's, we're just gonna cruise through. What, what is a big deal about signing a contract to be a big boyfriend, husband, then her father gives her the inheritance. We take our cut, zoom away. It's nothing can go wrong, babe. It's such a smooth opportunity. You, you gotta believe me on this one. Come on, think about the bigger picture. think any normal thinking guy would miss out on an opportunity to be your boyfriend, your fake husband. You're such a lovely, beautiful lady. <laughs> Indeed. Well, I would suggest we just cycle with the first reason moving forward. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I'm okay with whatever. If it's okay with you, it's fine by me. So, tell me, when do I move in? Move, move, move in where? Here, of course. I mean, that should be part of the contract, right? And I knew there was some lapses in that contract because it should be inclusive. Oh, oh, would you rather move to my place? No, no. I'm sorry, but why? normal thing to do. If we're going to be in a relationship, we need to get to know ourselves and, and hang out so people can believe us. There has to be that chemistry. And whatever we do so that nobody doubts us, I think that's the cost of, you know, that's how it's done. Uh, that would be necessary. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you proceed in getting to know each other? What would you propose? Well, uh, we could start by following each other on social media. Yes. Social media? Yes. And then, you know, tell each other our likes and dislikes and chat more. Hmm. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's not believable, honestly, because it's, it's remote. We need to get to know ourselves so everything is is in sync and people will believe us. What you're saying, it's, it's laughable, but, but you know what, hey, whatever you say, it's fine. I can roll with it. It's fine. <coughs> um, if I may come in here. Yes, please. 
I don't think there's anything wrong with you two staying together. Huh? It's not a bad idea. You see? You see? Even your friend, you have wrong care, right? Wrong care. And, and she's a lawyer. She thinks it's an excellent idea. Because it makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, I don't... I'm, I'm just comfortable with it. There could be some other way around it. Definitely no more right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard about this in recent times. What kind of contract is that? You know, it baffled me at first. But on the second thought, it's not so deep. It's not so deep. Mm -hmm. It's not so deep. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend, men cannot be trusted. I have to tell you the truth. I have to warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Girl, listen, okay? My man is not so loose. Mm -hmm. I trust him so, so much. Besides, he said it's just business. Just for the money. Yeah. The girl's father is super rich. We need this money, I beg. Okay, oh, if you say so. But let me tell you something. Men are moved by what they see. Not what they hear. Okay. He's still a man and he has blood flowing in his vein. Yes, man. <laughs> I've heard you, okay? Mm -hmm. So tell me, how far are you and Kennedy now? Hope you guys are waxing strong. <laughs> We're just there. We're pushing. <laughs> when are they pushed to go? Sophie, I hope you don't regret this. Oh, please. Don't say I didn't warn you because I'm warning you. No, why are you covering up now? I'm asking about Kennedy and you're covering up. Why are you covering up? Better allow God carry you go your husband's ass. Pushing, <laughs> what do you want me to say? Mm. Mm -hmm. Pushing. I saw the report you sent. It was nicely done. Okay, Dad, thank you, sir. I've asked Michael to take a second look at it and make changes before we affect it. Okay, Daddy. Hold on, though. I'm already loving working remotely. We've not made the decision yet. Let's see how it goes. Okay, Daddy. Any other business of the day, or should we call it a day? Mm, actually, yes, Daddy. I, I found a man. Chile can be praised. Yes. As a matter of fact, we are already seeing each other as we speak. I am um, daddy. So now that I have found a man, can we talk about the transfer of the conglomerate? I think it is too early to do that now. We have not even met this guy you're talking about. You are not even married yet. You don't even have any child yet. You're talking about children. That the children wasn't part of the deal. Hello? What is it? Is everything okay? It's my parents again. What about them? They were not happy when you told them. No. She just asked them for too much. What is it this time? They want to meet the guy. And not just that. My mom is even talking about children. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. What guy are you talking about? You don't know. Clara has a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, Ako, why didn't you guys tell me? Spill! Uh, not exactly. Mm. Just the. Uh, Baby girl, you won't understand. Clara, but I told you, your parents want to know who this guy is. But, girlfriend, I think it's high time you started knowing things about this guy. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? 
and not just that. You know, chatting with him and just drawing a list of what you like. Hello? Are you, can you guys hear me? What's, what are you talking about? You will not, not understand. understand. Oh, really? Hello. I was actually expecting something more romantic. You know, something like, hi, baby, honey, dear, something. Okay. <laughs> Look, I am not cut out for this whole chit chat right now. Who? Oh? Okay, sorry. Let me just go straight to the reason why I called you. I just saw your message about moving in together, and I'm super excited about it. Don't worry, I will be the best fake boyfriend, fake husband, roommate, whatever you want to call it, you've ever had. Fake, right? I hope you are excited about it too, because we're going to have a wonderful time. Okay, bye now. What's going on? Where are you traveling to? <clears throat> I'm not traveling. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so where are you going to with the bag? Um, Clara asked me to move in with her. <laughs> You're not serious, are you? It's, it's just for a short while. You know, just to make sure that the plan goes through. That I have to make sure, make sure this is successful. I don't get it. You know, I am still trying to understand. I'm still trying to accept all this. I'm still trying to digest it and now this. Oh my God, Clara asked you to move in with her and you didn't even care to let me know. That's why I didn't want to tell you. Because I knew you would overreact. Calm down. That's why I didn't tell you, okay? Overreact? Really? That my boyfriend is playing a fake relationship with my neighbor and you expect me to act normal? I, I should act like, like everything is okay? I didn't say be normal. I know everything is not normal. I'm just saying, babe, you have to trust me on this. I'm doing this for us. Remember the big picture? The big picture? That's why we're doing this. Babe, come on. Me. My parents wants to meet with you. For what? Because we are in a deal that requires us, you know, convincing them that we are a couple and they want to see us in church. Nobody told me anything about that. I didn't read it in the contract. I didn't see anything like that. <laughs> I don't do church. No, I don't. 
I'm sorry, but you have to do church this time. So you get paid. Yes. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'll I'll be in church, and I will be the best son-in-law ever. Mm -hmm. I am counting on you. ask you earlier, are you okay? I saw you limping back there. It's nothing. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Nebo. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Hi. <laughs> Nebo, where are you coming from? We went to church. Church? You go to church? Well, I do when I can. Hey. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. It it was really nice meeting your parents today. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Ah, I hope I get to see them more often. Okay, Mr. Slow Down. <laughs> Remember our deal. Of course, I remember the deal. What? I mean, didn't you hear what he said? He said you would love to meet his son-in-law and get to know him better. That's what he said. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Just don't let it get in your head. I just hope there were no odds today and I can't afford for this deal to go wrong. Please, nothing can go wrong. Absolutely nothing. Didn't you see how your mother treated me after church today? Oh, my mother. She loves me. <laughs> she even loves me more than you love me, than you will ever love me. <laughs> don't kid yourself. My mother, hmm, that's one. You don't know that woman. She would love a monkey in form of a man, so long the person is willing to marry me. She would love you. Oh, you're whatever. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, my mom is just such, such a handful. <laughs> I thought you said your leg was okay. Does um, it still hurt? Mm, yeah, but let, let let me check. No, it's come it's on, fine. it's okay. It's it's fine. No, hold on, relax. Just just relax, okay? It's I'm good at this. Just relax. Okay. Oh. There, there. That's, that's the spot. That's the spot? Mm. That's the spot, right? Yes. Oh. I don't even know how that happened. I guess I was dancing too much in church or something. Okay. Does it feel better now? A lot better. Alright, now um, I've got some oil. So let me go get it. It will, it will give it a smoother massage. Okay? Damien.
What are you doing? Hey, uh, I'm cooking for you. Is there a problem? For me? Yep. Is there a problem? Is there anything wrong? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Just that a man has never cooked for me before. Well, I think that's what you got it wrong. <laughs> Look, I'm sure your dad has cooked for you at one point in time. And, and besides, the restaurants that you go to, most of their cooks or the chef there are men. So you see, you're wrong. That is not what I meant. It's okay, slow down. I know what you meant. I'm just pulling your leg, okay? All right, so uh, how's your leg? Um, it's getting better. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, aren't you going to take that? Uh, no, I'll call the person back. Job related. Okay. I'll just... All right, okay. Hello? Uh, Sophia, I told you I'll call you back. What's happening? That is what you keep saying for us now. What is holding you from calling me? Busy doing what? This is not the time to be fussing, okay? The wrong yes. timing. Really? I am making a fuss? Do you think I am happy with this whole thing? And to think that you've been avoiding me ever since you moved into Clara's apartment? You know, I just feel you're slipping away or something. There's nothing happening. I'm not slipping away. I'm just trying to make sure things work out. Eh? You gotta slow down and understand and believe me, okay? Please, take your time. Oh, you know what? Let me try and slip out tonight and, and visit you. Would that be fine? I'll come see you. Yes, that's better. Alright, that's fine. So I'll see you later then. Bye. Majesty, food is served. Okay, <laughs> come in. Here you go. Oh, please. Sorry, have a seat. Thank you. All right. Comfortable? Yes. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. This is my restaurant, and we do not start eating till I say so. I'm the chef. Mm -hmm. May I? You may. Thank you. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> chef. Let's see. This tastes very good. <laughs> I 
knew you would like it. I just knew it. You know, I have heard of men that cook better than women. But you, I will never put you in that category, ever. My God. So the cliche stands. <laughs> Looks can be deceptive. <laughs> Don't be deceived. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those. <laughs> mm. So tell me, where did you learn how to cook? Well, it's just a long story. Let me say, it's my grandmother. Awesome, beautiful lady. May her soul rest in peace. She, she enjoys cooking. And I was her favorite and only grandson. Mm. I hang out a lot with her. So every time she was cooking, I would be in the kitchen and she just couldn't help it but teach me a few tricks here and there, tips here and there. And that sauce mm -hmm. that you're having right now mm -hmm. is her number one recipe. The, the, the stew, mm -hmm. you taste that um, spicy, spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the exotic taste. Yes. It's got that little exotic kind of taste. taste. Yeah. And when you taste the meat, you'll realize that the, it, it's so tender. It melts in your mouth because the temperature is so right. You see, the thing about cooking is this you need to get the temperature right so it's tended perfectly. This is good. Yep. This is very good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> what? It's, it's good to see you laugh. Okay. Hmm. And I think you need to take some painkiller for your foot before you sleep. In the morning, you'll feel much better. Okay. I will. Chef. <laughs> Carry on, hey. I think one of my... you were coming over tonight uh yeah i i am literally preparing to come see you okay okay i'll be waiting okay okay then bye Mm 
what is keeping him now? It's taking too long. It's actually taking longer than I expected. taking my calls. <sighs> Damien, don't do this to me. You can't just do this to me, Damien. Pick up. Baby, I can explain. Baby, I can explain. Explain what? It's not what you're thinking. It's, it's, it's not it. Uh, is that what you want to explain? No. Uh, listen, I was coming here as promised. I said I would come and see you, and I was. Except while I was coming here, Clara had an accident. As in, in the house. She twisted her ankle. And there was no way I could have left. I mean, imagine what she would have thought. She would have suspected something. I had to stay and take care of her. Oh, you could have at least texted me or something. Just, just left me like that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's why my fault. I'm sorry. I should have said something. It's just that everything just took over. I was overwhelmed. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. It's not going to happen again. I'm going to try and always... Be in contact and, and communicate with you. Okay. Samantha, what are you girls doing here? It's Samantha. She practically dragged me down here. She said she wants to see your man. What man? Where is he? Where is he? Samantha, is your husband away that you're here? Uh, I beg, leave that one. Um, well. He's not around. Wow. I was hoping to meet the guy that has captured my friend's heart. Oh, sorry. Are you all right? Hmm? I mean, are you fine? Mm. Um. I slept with Damien last night. What? Yes. God. How did that happen? I... I don't know. Uh, he, he was massaging my feet from spraining my ankle in church. And uh, before you know it, we're making out and... I don't know what came over me. But that was not in the contract. I know. Oh my God. I don't know what to do.
you? What's wrong? Why are you screaming my name like that? You asking me? You really want to know, right? What's the problem? This is it! This is it, Damian! Baby, baby please. It's, it's, it's not what it is. I can explain. Explain what? Explain what exactly? So you can fill me in with more lies, right? Baby, it's not what it looks like. Yes. Okay? Of course. I get it. You didn't have sex with her. You accidentally slipped inside her, Baby, right? Take it easy. Take it easy. After everything I did for you, I loved you with my heart, my soul, and my body, Damien. I don't deserve this. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. Maybe I'm so, I'm sorry. If I could take it back, I would take it all back. I just need you to understand. I'm sorry. Please, baby. Don't touch me! Don't. Maybe I'm sorry. Leave my apartment. You don't mean that. I said, leave my apartment! About last night, I don't know what came over me. I should have controlled myself. You know, stop things before they went too far. <laughs> okay, are you saying you didn't like it? That is not the point. Then what's the point? Look, simple questions demand simple answers. Well, that simple question is not relevant right now. We had a deal, and sex wasn't a part of it. Wait a minute. Are you saying the deal is off? No. Okay. <laughs> no. All I'm saying is that we find a way to get past this without it affecting our deal moving forward. Yeah, okay. I, <laughs> I can handle it. I can manage that. Okay, good. <laughs> Even though I still find you irresistible. But I, I can manage. Come on, relax. Uh. It's just so painful. I never expected Damien would treat me this badly. Like, it just seems like he's doing it on purpose. And it's so hurtful. Of course, I have thought of leaving him so many times. But I have invested a lot on him and this relationship to just back out with nothing to show for it. I can't let him go. I can't. At least, not until I get my own share of the money from the deal. Yes. Clara! Yeah? Clara, are you okay? I don't know. I've just been feeling really nauseous lately. I guess it's something I ate. Have you eaten outside lately? No. My boyfriend cooks for me. He's a great cook. Oh, he cooks. Yes. That's nice. Yes, so I have no reason to eat out. Okay, um, why not go for a pregnancy test? Hmm? You never can tell. Hey baby, I was just thinking about you. I was actually about to call you. Cut the nonsense, Damien. Sophia, what is it this time? You got her pregnant. I what? That is not possible. Clara, you got her pregnant. What are you talking about? No, there has to be a misunderstanding somewhere. 
You slept with her, didn't you? Yes. Was sleeping with her part of the deal? Getting her pregnant was not part of the deal. Listen, I don't care how you do it. I don't care how you go about it, but just fix this, okay? You just have to fix this. Didn't you guys use condom? Okay, come on now, eh? Everything about that night happened very fast. It was all so blurry. If not for the fact that I sprained my ankle, I would have said he planned it. Why are you sounding as if this was my fault? Eh? I wished that it never happened. I wish that night never even came. I don't know. I don't know. But one thing I know for sure is that I am never aborting this baby. Never. Are you serious about what you're saying? Of course I am serious. That wasn't part of the plan. You were not supposed to get pregnant. It's never what we discussed. Well, you were not supposed to sleep with me. That wasn't also part of the plan, though. I'm not ready to be a father. <laughs> you should have thought about that very well before you decided to put your thing inside of me. Well, damn it! You should have thought about pregnancy before you opened your legs. This won't end well. I knew this would end badly. That bitch had it all planned out. Yes. She saw a very fine, well chiseled guy. And, and she concocted a fake relationship just to trap me with pregnancy. <laughs> oh, she thinks she can take you away from me because of that. <laughs> it's not possible. Well, on second thought, I think she had it all planned out. That bitch. She thinks she can get away with it. <laughs> she doesn't know me, Sophia. She thinks she can get away with it. <laughs> I think we need to tread carefully. We need to just be sure that we play along, right? And then decipher exactly what her plan is. Get our money and get out. You know what I mean? <sighs> You know, when you told me about this, I never believed you. And that's why I decided to come over, so we can be a front of <sighs> Lucy, I am broken. <laughs> Calm down. But why will Damien do this to you? After all you've done for him. I mean, you literally brushed him off. After picking him up from the gutters, men, men can be so ungrateful. Lucy, I wish I could just do something stupid to him. I wish I could just see him now and just struggle the life out of him. Calm down. Don't say that. That's way out of the normal. You know what? I think the best thing to do right now is to find out from him why he got her pregnant. I mean, was that part of the earlier plan? Lucia, I can't think anymore. My head is full. I just need to cut off, okay? One second. Let me Sophia. Get Come Sophia. Sophia. Man. Look, there was a breach of contract. There was a total deviation of what we originally agreed on. 
and I believe I need some compensation for this new development. What's new development? Pregnancy. I mean, that wasn't part of the plan, was it? She wasn't supposed to get pregnant, and she did. I believe I was emotionally used, I was sexually used, she totally used me to her benefit. What? So I need to be compensated. Oh, you son of a bitch. So you want to take advantage of the situation? I'm not taking advantage of the situation. I want what is duly mine. You breached the contract. Oh, you son of a bitch. So you want to take advantage of this situation? I am not taking advantage of the situation. I'm asking for what is duly mine. And I will make sure you get nothing. Hey, Robert, don't try me. Don't try me. Uh, look, I am more than this. I can... I, I, I'll give him whatever he wants. Oh, good. Clara! You can't be encouraging him. I am not encouraging him, okay? What are you doing? I, I just want the deal to go on without any hitch. I'll give him whatever he wants. Hey babes. Morning, Clara. I just sent you a link. I think you need to check it. Mm. Okay. Okay. What? What? Damn! Dude. Damn! Jesus. Get me out of here. What is it? What's happening? What's going on? What is the meaning of this? Just look Everything you see online, yes, you, sh sh you shouldn't. Get out. 
Just get out. You don't want to take a rash decision. You don't want to do something to harm the baby. What? What, baby? Just get out! Go! Go! Just go! 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 Shit! Is she going to be okay? What do you care? You put her in this situation, didn't you? You made her lose the baby. Please don't even go there. Don't even start with me right now. That was my baby as well, okay? And I know you're trying to protect your friend, but I really need to speak to her. No way in hell is that going to happen. No way. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that how you're going to play me? Play you? As a matter of fact, you need to leave. Now, you need to leave right now. Where's Ronke? I don't even know you. Where is Ronke? I need to speak to her because I need to close this deal. What deal? I have a contract with her. So what are you talking about? Did you went off immediately you sabotaged this relationship? You didn't even give her what she wanted. So you're getting nothing, absolutely nothing. Oh, really? Yes. But well, that's not right. Mm -hmm. That's not fair. Because <laughs> I'm going to get my share of the deal. Wherever you are in there, you better wake up and give me my share. Because I'm going to take you guys anywhere, and I know I'm going to win. I'll take you anywhere. Ronka will beat you in yeah, court. Yeah, she should meet me in court. Rubbish. Rubbish, too. So, what's your conclusion? I'm done with him. But I told you to digest everything before making a decision. As a matter of fact, you have invested a lot in him. What do you want me to do? She is carrying his child. And I, I can't deny an unborn child of fatherly love. As far as I'm concerned, I am done with him. I am so done. What am I to say? It's your decision to make and not mine. But I want you to know that whatever good decision you make, I'll support you. Thank you. You know, I blame myself for involving the media in this. I owe Clara an apology. I need to apologize to Clara, seriously. Because I acted out of anger, out of frustration. I didn't know what to do. I just hope she forgives me. I just hope she forgives me, honestly. It's fine. Calm down. How do I tell my friends? How do I tell my friends that my boyfriend of so many years messed up with my neighbor? I can't stand this. What do I tell my parents? Even after trying my best to see him through in his endeavors, I can't stand this. I can't stand this. Damien, I love you. I love you. But I have to let go. God, oh, I have to start afresh. Come in. Hold on. What are you doing here? Haven't you done enough? Clara, I've come to apologize. Yes, I've come to apologize for uploading you and Damien on the internet. Listen, I was so angry. I was pissed. In fact, I was frustrated to see the relationship I have built over the years go down the drain just like that. All because I trusted Damien. I'm 
sorry. Is this why you're here? To preach and tell stories? No. I actually came here to clear the air. I guess Damien didn't tell you we were lovers. But I'm done, okay? I have moved on. As a matter of fact, I am leaving this compound for good. Okay, so you can do whatever you want with him. But just forgive me, please. Please, Clara, forgive me. I wish you good luck. <laughs> it's the nerve for me. Compensation, you see. What compensation are you talking about? I signed a contract. <laughs> contract? <laughs> well, in that said contract, we were supposed to get married so that my father can transfer his conglomerate to me. We didn't get married, though. I lost my pregnancy. He didn't give me anything. He transferred nothing to me. No shares, no money, nothing. So I have nothing to give you, okay? You don't mean it. Yes, I do. As we speak, she no longer lives here. She moved out this morning. That means you have Damien all to yourself. I mean, the love you guys shared and the baby has vindicated the situation. Girl, you should give love another chance. Yes, girlfriend. You should give love a chance. Mm -hmm. Listen, we know what you feel for this guy. We know. <laughs> and to be your beginning of another splendid union. It's not going to be uh, the contract thing. It's going to be living happily ever after. <laughs> and trust me, girlfriend, your child will be proud. Will be so happy you took this decision. Trust me. <laughs> That's my girl. You don't know how happy I am whenever I see you smile. <laughs> oh, I love you both so much. I mean, what would I have done without both of you? Aww. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> you cannot do anything without us. In fact, without me. I don't know about Samantha. Please, oh, you cannot do anything. No, I beg. <laughs> exactly. Of course. What do you have? Do you have it? Yeah. You have something. <laughs> 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 